Okay, joining us up there right now, we have Tony Stewart, driver of the number 14, Old Spice, Office Depot, Chevrolet, and Greg Biffle, driver of the number 16, 3M Ford. Tony is seated sixth in the chase seatings, followed by Greg Biffle seated seventh. Uh, Tony, th uh, talk about your uh, ability to, to make the chase again and what you'll have to do to win your third NASCAR Sprint Cup Series championship. I honestly wish I knew what we had to do. <laughs> I wish it was that easy, but it's, um, you know, it, it's it's tough. I mean, and we got, uh, I think, the m most competitive chase field that we've ever had. So, um, you know, it, you hate to sound like an idiot by saying you just got to be better than the other 11 guys, but that's what it's going to come down to. You, I don't think that, I think you have to capitalize on the tracks you're good at, and, and uh, you're still going to have to, you're not going to be able to have bad races, I don't think. I don't think there's going to be a – you're not going to be able to get a mulligan. You're not going to be able to have a bad day. I mean, you're going to have to be good for 10 straight weeks. You're not going to have that flexibility with this field to uh, uh, to have an off night. Thank you, Tony. Greg Biffle, uh, your thoughts about uh, your your prospects uh, for uh, for winning the chase? Well, I mean, I feel good about uh, our chances this year. We've been running, you know, re really well last – eight or nine weeks and, and got ourselves a good point margin. It's a good thing we did. We didn't run very good these last couple of weeks. But uh, other than that, we've run really good as a company and uh, feel like we're kind of on the upswing of things. And like Tony said, you have to capitalize on the places you're good at and, and try and survive the other ones. And, you know, we have probably seven or eight, you know, good racetracks in the chase for us. So we'll, we've got a few that we'll have to uh, keep our head above water on. Let's go upstairs. Press box question for Tony or Greg. Money doesn't guess, and is it? Tony, in the past, two chases have been more or less run by, by consistency, and four have been won by multiple victories. If you had to pick, which do you think will do it this time? Uh, I think consistency. Um, you know, like, like we mentioned, I mean, you could, you could go out and win four or five races and still have one bad day and, and lose the championship. I mean, it with the with the fact that 40 you can get 43rd place points i mean that that can kill you better than the wins can help you so um you know it, it, all it takes is one bad day and 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 you've lost your opportunity to to go to vegas so uh um you know it it's it, it, i mean it's that simple i mean you know with until they give the 12 chase drivers their own point structure that's that's the reality that we face each week and that's why you ha you have to be good you you if you have that one bad day, it's going to eliminate you out of the, the possibility. Come downstairs for questions. Got one right here from Kim. Kim Robertson, Insider Racing News. Um, it is it, At the start of the season, it seemed like it was Jimmy's chase um, or championship to lose for this year. Um, looking at the way that things stand now, do you think that the way that the – the playing field seems to have equaled out. Does that give you more confidence that it's actually your championship to win and not necessarily his to lose this year? Who are you asking? All three of you. Go ahead, nominated me to answer that question. Thank okay. you, Tony. Greg? Go ahead, Carl. Carl um, Edwards has joined us. Yep. I feel like that, uh, I mean, Jimmy's had an unbelievable ability to perform in the chase and, and win championships but I think uh, all these guys uh, everyone would agree that it, it's anyone's race more than ever this year it looks like you know advantages are smaller and they they last a shorter period of time so over these 10 races it's just going to be um, I think it's anybody's and I, I, to me it feels like um, feels like that's truer than ever but I wouldn't be surprised if Jimmy comes out here and you know goes off and wins the first three or something and proves us wrong but but I, I, I don't believe he'll do that Carl Edwards has joined us. He's the ninth seed, and he drives the number 99 Affleck Ford for Roush Fenway. Questions for Carl, Tony, or Greg, please. Upstairs, we have one. Go ahead. Uh, Jay Pennell with Front Stretch and All Left Turns. Greg, could you talk about what went wrong tonight and how you don't, how, how you don't get frustrated with what happened tonight going into the final ten races? Well, we just, you know, when we – drive out of the driveway we th start thinking about Loudon and not what happened tonight so that's how you do that uh let's see what happened tonight I was pulling off pit road and my helmet filled with smoke and uh something was on fire so I shut my <coughs> helmet blower off and proceeded to 
try and get some air inside the car. About halfway through the race, they, they said, what's the temperature? And I said, it's 165. And so then we realized that there was a hole up underneath the front of the, the nose of the, of the car that had a, some debris at some point knocked a hole in it. So the car was really tight. We kept it freeing it up, freeing it up. And I'm telling them it's sliding the nose, and I can't give it any gas because we had it so loose, and we, we fixed that. Uh, we got the wave around. Uh, we took the wave around, and then when I was coming around to the back of the field, the right front tire was flat. So I had to pit when we were coming to the green. And uh, then we got penalized because you, can't, uh, you take, can't take the wave around and then pit before you take the green on the track. So we got penalized for that. And uh, other than that, no, nothing else happened. It's pretty, pretty straight up night after that. Any other questions for uh, Greg, Tony, or Carl? Jenna has one right here, young lady. I have one that you're going to love, Tony. You mentioned earlier until um, until the chase drivers have their own point system. Is that something you're in favor of? No, I just said it just for the heck of it. I mean, just because I'm not smart enough to think of something else. Can you elaborate on that? Anything else for uh, Tony, Greg, or, or uh, Carl? One more upstairs, Carrie. Go ahead. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports for Tony. Can you reflect on, on losing your grandfather? Yeah, it sucks. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a good deal. I mean, I was my last grandparent, um, one that I thought the world of. And, I mean, I don't, I don't know anybody. I, I've never met somebody that ever was like losing a family member. So, yeah, it's not. Not a good deal. Okay, guys, congratulations, and we look forward to watching you guys go for the chase. Thanks, guys.